I'm Kiana Price Wade, and this is Round Roanoke Scene Only on Cox 9. Thank you for tuning in today. The Altruist Club of Roanoke will present area high school seniors and their escorts at its 58th annual debutante ball on December 30th. The young ladies are sponsored by Roanoke Valley businesses, community organizations, and individuals. The ball is open to everyone. Proceeds benefit the Alwyn Helmer Saunders Memorial Scholarship Fund. And since the ball's beginning, the fund has provided money for more than $160,000 in scholarships and grants to more than 1,600 high school seniors, myself being one of them. Ball coach Chair Melinda Payne is here to tell us more about the organization and the ball. Thank you so much for coming in. Well, thank you for having me. Well, it's a wonderful event and we want everyone to know all about it. So tell us a little bit about the Altruist Club. Well, the Altruist Club has been in existence since 1951. It began as the Young Professionals. And then in 1952, one of the members attended uh, an event in Greensboro where they were having a ball. Mm -hmm. He brought the concept back to the Roanoke Valley, and in 1952, the first debutante ball was held. Wow. So it's been going on, as you said, for 58 years. Gosh, nearly 60 years. Mm -hmm. And so how are young ladies selected, or how are young ladies involved to be a part of the ball? If a young woman is interested, one of the, uh, you have to be a rising senior okay. in high school. You have to have an unblemished record, okay. good standing in your community and your school, mm -hmm. and you pretty much just come and submit you know, your forms that you are interested in becoming a debutante, and that's where it begins. Well, it's a little work involved, too. They just don't show up on December 30th. No, no, <laughs> no. A part of the process is that when you become a debutante, you have to go out and raise funds. Mm -hmm. But the good part about all of that is that if you are among the top winners, most of that money comes right back to you. So mm -hmm. it's like building scholarship money for college. Mm -hmm. And we have, through the years, given book scholarships uh, and other re awards to uh, students who have be been members of the uh, debutante ball. Mm -hmm. Well, hard work pays off. <laughs> it, does. <laughs> it does. It does. That's... It does. So how many Debs do you have this year? We have 11 debutantes uh, representing high schools in the, throughout the Roanoke region. Mm -hmm. Lord Botetot, um, we have them from Northside, Fleming, Patrick Henry, Salem. Mm -hmm. So the uh, Valley is pretty well represented in the ball. Excellent, excellent. And I know, as I mentioned in the, in the intro, just a couple of years ago. Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> not a couple of years yeah. ago that I was in the ball, but you know, you learn a lot by being in the Debbie Tom ball. And you I do. mean, it's more than just a fundraiser. You're, you learn the waltz and you're learning to work well with others. And, uh, I think there's etiquette classes. And, and uh, there is a community service element. So there's a, we try to teach the young ladies a, a lot during the short time that we have them. Because mm -hmm. usually the debutante season is about September through December. Mm -hmm. This year we started a little earlier, mm -hmm. but truly in the past years the debutante season is September through December. And during that time, we put together events for them that involve going to, uh, doing some community work, whether it's ringing the bells for the Salvation Army, mm -hmm. or whether it's going to the rescue mission and serving dinner, or whatever it is. We want to teach them how to give back, and that's a big p part of it. Very so, important. Uh, very important piece yeah. of it. They also uh, will make a basket for the needy, a couple mm -hmm. of baskets, and they bring in the items that go into the basket and then we will select a couple of families who will be the recipients of these baskets. You know, you talk about being in the debutante ball some years ago. I too was a debutante uh -huh. in about 1975. So, you know, I've uh, been a part of it and now I'm also a part of the, com the committee mm -hmm. that produces it. So, mm -hmm. you have a from this, this point of view, you have a different perspective sure. on, on all of it. Well, there's a lot of work. It's more than just it dressing is. up and coming and, you know, being presented to society. It's, it's a lot of work and, and is. a component of community uh, involvement as well. So that's beautiful. And the guys get involved, too. Yes, there <laughs> is a ele the, uh, area for the young men to yes. be involved as the uh, escorts to the debutantes. And they do a splendid job, too. Uh, one of the things that we've done this year is to, we've told our debutantes to get the escorts involved in mm -hmm. soliciting funds too because you know they are part of it. Sure. And we have the princesses and the princesses. Yes, the little yes. ones and they're adorable. Yeah, the little ones. We're almost out of time. Real quickly, tell us where the ball is and how much and where we can get information. The ball again will be held on December 30th. Okay. That's a Friday night, the first time we've had it on a weekend night True. in a long time. Mm -hmm. Uh, tickets are available through Altruist Club or any debutante. Mm -hmm. uh, you can call the numbers uh, uh, 
well, I guess you probably would be better off calling uh, Carolyn Shovely, okay. who is one of the ball co-chairs. Okay. Her phone number is 562-2353, and you can get a ticket from her. But it's December 30th, Friday night at 6 o'clock at the Sheraton Hotel, Hotel and Conference Center. Beautiful. Well, we're looking forward to a beautiful fantastic evening with yes. the young ladies and the gentlemen and the little ones and the Altruist Club. It'll be a wonderful event. Yes. Well, thank you so much for sharing all thank of the you. details. And we're looking forward to December 30th. Thank you so much. Thank Appreciate your thank being here. Thank you, Melinda. Yeah. And you can learn more about the Altruist Club and the debutante ball and other events on the Cox Community Calendar coming up during the break. I'm Kiana Price-Wade and you're watching Round Roanoke on Cox 9.